Good morning, everyone. Fabtech 2025 Chicago. I'm here today with Wes Donath from Fronius. He's the program manager. And we're going to go over a very exciting new product that just launched today. Yep. Wes, what are we looking at? We're looking at the next generation of manual welding. It, this is the Fortis platform. Uh -huh. We're doing the ribbon cutting today here at Fabtech 2025. And this new platform represents a 270 to 500 amp system where we offer all of them as a compact machine. And what that means is the wire feeder is built in. We will have other versions available, but in its core, all of the machines can be offered with a wire feeder built in, even a 500 amp machine. It's in here? Yeah. yeah. Really? This is a 500 amp machine here. No kidding. And the wire feeder is, is built in. Oh, wow. No okay. kidding. So this actually got dual wire feeders on it. So this is what we call duo. So nice segue. <laughs> hey, there you go. So what that allows us to do, because all of the machines are offered as a compact, really? we can add another wire feeder and you get trigger on demand and have really? a dual feed system. That's pretty slick. So yes. you could have hard wire and cord wire up here. Correct. And stainless steel. You can have something set up maybe for just doing all your tacking. Yeah. And then you can switch over to metal core, flux core, whatever you're going to run. And so. it is multi-process. So you could do It does TIG. stick welding and it mm -hmm. does touch start uh, TIG welding as well. Is this a DC only or? DC only machine. DC only, yes. okay. Yep. Right on. But one of the other things that, that you can do is you can start with a gas cooled system yeah. if you, or air cooled, however you want to refer to it. But if you want to um, upgrade it to water cooled later, the water cooler actually goes really? right in the bottom compartment. So you don't have to um, stack anything, but it literally, the bottom comes apart and the cooler goes inside. So there's actually like a little cutout already there. So yes. you just order that. Yep, whenever you put the, you you put the cooler it. inside wow. of it and you can go water cooled. So like if you, let's say you start out doing a lot of steel welding, mm -hmm. you know, and then you transition to maybe your, your products change and you're doing stainless. Yeah. stainless is a lot more comfortable with a with a water cooled yeah, torch. Yeah, absolutely. So, but um, whole new user interface. Mm -hmm. I mean, this this entire platform for us when we do something like this. Yeah, it's been in development for five years, and really, we we did all of our homework to make it user friendly. Mm -hmm. So, what you'll notice there's not just one knob, but there's three. And Yay. the reason why we did that is it allows you to have three segments that you're working with. You'll notice we give a, a visualization. So when you make an adjustment, you can see what you're doing to the well. Look at that, that's pretty slick. It's showing you actually what you're doing, huh? You see the weld size? Oh yeah, look at that. Inches per minute. That's pretty slick. And you just push it in to cycle if, through. If you the... want to do adjust something else. So nope. you can set it up by the thickness of the base plate. Really? Wire inch or uh, wire feed speed and then yep. amperage gives mm -hmm. you the readout yeah. on this screen over here. So this side was kind of like your fine tuning with what we call dynamic correction. Mm -hmm. On this side, this is your arc length. Oh wow! So you know if you want to get it as close to a burn back as possible, <laughs> you can. <laughs> right on. But you can notice that it starts yeah. to let you know that you're going to start experiencing mm -hmm. undercut. Oh yeah, absolutely. So it, it gives you it, it gives uh, an entire range of welders. You know, anyone who has maybe less experience, mm -hmm. a visual on what it's going to look yeah, like. Yeah, no, that's great. And then once you find something that you like, you got your radio buttons over here. Press and hold, and look I just stored those Save settings. your station. That's exactly. slick. So you get four on here, mm -hmm. and then if you do have a, a manufacturing process that requires a lot more, there's a software option. You can actually have a thousand jobs with this machine. Oh wow! So you can, you can set up and store all the different um you know wps's and things like that that you do really um but uh you click the menu button and that lets you choose the other processes oh wow and um you know we even have things like interior lighting so um oh really you it's this one's not going to work because it's but, just running off 120 volt but sure on all the machines there's a light you, in there <clears throat> yeah when you touch the torch it lights up so you can see your spool of wire wow <coughs> we'll see it on the machine over that's here. That's actually probably gonna, pretty handy, especially if you're in a big outfit or in a... It's, it's you never know, really well lit in the welding yeah. environment, is it? Or if you're so. working night shift or something, exactly. you know what I mean? That's slick. Yep, you'll, wow. see, um, you'll see a lot of innovations like that, um, but you'll see it on the machine that you guys yeah. can weld with. But it has this, the status uh -huh. bar on the front. Yeah. So when it's just sitting, it's going to... It's going to be green. If it goes red, maybe is an error. 
pressure, uh, something you know maybe uh, happened with it. Mm -hmm. um, but when you're welding, it's blue. Oh and, really? And, and, and you get the you get the you know if you're a, if you're a kid of the '70s like me, yeah. Night Rider, right? Yeah, so. there you go. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> but it, it just gives you a visual. Mm -hmm. It gives the supervisor or you know anybody who's kind of in the department they can see if maybe there's something going on with the machine right. they need to, in, need to investigate. Like a quick identification. Yep. That's pretty um, slick. So you have uh, all the machines mm -hmm. work on single phase. That's the other thing that's really. New. They all, so even the 500 amp machine can work on single phase. It is limited to 320 amps. That's still pretty good. <clears throat> it is. We we have a lot of customers, um, you know, nearby in Indiana where maybe they started out with a small shop and they had single phase power. Yeah. And then as they grew, they added a, a new building that has three phase. Right. Well, they end up with two kinds of machines. Right. Now they can have a singular machine. You can plug it in. It works on both. No yep. kidding. So single phase, three phase, all of them. Um, the smaller machines, so like the 270 yeah. and the 320, are, are limited um, below what they're advertised. So yeah. 240 and 270. But sure. Uh, yeah, we have four power classes, yeah. all compact, all yeah. work on single phase. The footprint of these is just incredible. I mean, it's, and is it heavy? You can pick it up. That's that one it. is this one. This one. Yeah, that's a, maybe 40 feet. Just want to make pounds? sure it wasn't a dummy machine. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's there that's wild. Yeah. No, so you could even put that like on a, a cantilever or a boom. Could, if yeah, you yeah. If you have a boom that'll support that weight. Wow. A lot of times, you know, by the time you get a spool of wire and things like that, it might be a little bit much for a boom. But yeah, it is something that, that some customers are considering. So no kidding. But yeah, easily change polarity. You got swap your three the leads. Knobs. Yep. That's so. Um, this is a single phase or a three phase input. Yep. So you're telling me a guy. That has you could plug it into 220 at you know the shop, and effectively you got 300 amps at your disposal, 300 plus. Yes. Yep. You could carbon arc off it or any. I mean, you could. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of. I mean, there's a lot of potential with there that. Is, definitely. Look at that wire feeder spot in there. That's slick. Yep. Oh, so oh, I'm going to take out the. Uh, take that out, but you've got a standard wire feeder and then very simple drive roll yeah. design. So no tools required. All of our stuff is color coded. Yeah. So if you're running 045, it's red. Lock and load. If it's blue, it's 035. But we try to keep it simple and, and yeah. make it so that you can see it from a distance. It. Yeah. You know, there's nothing worse than having one drive roll that's the wrong size. Oh, and you're having man. feeding problems. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. Just quick identification makes it yep. fast. Exactly. Wow. That's awesome. Close that up. Well, cool. All right. Well, I think. We'll probably move over to the uh, yeah. welding station. Give it a and try. Let you do some welding. Show yeah, your skills. Yeah, off. let's see what we can yeah. do. Sounds good. I'm gonna try it out. All right. Uh, All right. Come on in. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> All righty. Throw a jacket on. Gonna come right there. Yep. So this system here. Yep. Go ahead and grab a jacket. You got glasses on. I do. Safety first, always. Oh yeah, make sure the safety's the good. There, so beautiful. It's the universal jacket. We just go big. So hey, it's go big or go home, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like that style. All right. So you'll notice. Let me move that a little bit here. So you'll notice this is a system that's set up in what we call duo. Yeah. So you do. You have the wire feeder. Uh, built in or you have the one that's on top. So the one we're going to use today is the one that's on top um, mm -hmm. You can just set it up so you can like I said just touch the trigger on whichever torch you want to use really? And that's the one that starts welding and it remembers your parameters beautiful. <coughs> Let's make sure So yeah, the torch we're going to use today. Yeah, one of the unique things about it <clears throat> comes with that handy flashlight on it Oh look at that. You also don't have to touch anything. You just pick it up and it will turn on no kidding, huh? So the torch knows when it's, it's when it's moved. live. Really? You know, when it's when you've moved it, it has a it has a sensor in it. Really? We also have the ability to make adjustments. Try not to shine the light in your yeah, camera yeah. there. Um, this See? is what we call an up down torch. But this is we've had up down for 20 years. Yeah. Um, one of the differences now is it was always kind of a problem for welders because they would rest sure. their thumb here and then they would accidentally oh, change the parameters. Yeah, yeah. Now we've made it where you can rest your thumb, you can apply pressure, but mm -hmm. nothing changes. So gotcha. we went from this way 
orientation uh -huh. to this way. So that way different you're not going along you know? and all of a sudden, oh no, <coughs> kicked yep. it up or kicked it down. But it gives you the option. You can also, if you um, have it set up using one of the jobs, you can cycle through the jobs as well. Oh, really? So you can have it set to do like trigger lock if you want for long sure. welds and then turn it off for doing your tasks. So you can actually change the output function of that. Yep. That's pretty slick. So we will, right now, you can see the oh, yeah, look at that. speeds changing. But yeah, we'll give wow. it a shot here. Give it a whirl. This is, you good to go on here? I, okay. Man, these helmets are pretty sharp too. Yeah, I'll that's, tell you what, look at that's that. the, the crystal lens and it's the, uh, that thing's pretty much got all the options. So Holy it's got smokes. The, you guys are doing it right here over at Fronius. <laughs> I'm telling you what. Yeah, that's a treat. really nice for Sean. So. Oh, man. Look at that. <laughs> man, you can almost, man, clear, another, man. Is there another pair of safety glasses back here? All right. So, there's a helmet if you want to wear I'm going to put, a, I'm gonna oh, put, yeah. a, helmet put a helmet on. on. All right. I will steer. Push the black button before you weld. Which one? On the table here. Oh, the table. Oh, yes. the black button. See? Ready? Ready. All right. Woo, look at that, we're live. All right, Wes, coach me through it. Looks right. like we got 045 so we, wire in here. Yep, so we are set up on pulse. He's got what we call synchro pulse, so it's gonna make some changes. All righty. So it's gonna sound a little different. It's gonna sound a little well. You can see that light, you found your spot real easy. I sure did, I'm gonna throw a little tack weld yep, on here. Oh, and is it four step? I might have touched the button up here. No, it's too, it's got a crater. It has a little crater fill though. Oh, does it? Yeah, just hold That's it right. there a little bit longer. Yep, no worries. All righty, let's give her a go. All right. Here we go. We're doing pulse, so go ahead and push it after you get her tacked. Push it, all right. Pulse. If you wanted to weld out of position, you could do that. Really? I don't want to give you too much of a challenge today. The arc is absolutely fabulous. There you go. Nice. That's incredible. That is very smooth. Like I'd imagine you could probably really fine tune that. Yes. Yeah. And then and we're, we're showing off some of yeah. what the machine can do. So. You know, would you use that on steel in that position? Probably not. But sure. if you were running vertical and you wanted to be able to control the oh, tunnel, yeah. then you could do that. I mean, it was just, I mean, if you really had a, a craft, right? Like if you were really yeah. slick, yep. you could almost pinpoint where you wanted that puddle to go and just yeah. lay it in there. Exactly. I'd imagine it does fantastic yeah. out of position. Definitely. No, Man. One of the things you could use it for, but the light's still on. Yeah, so she's can, still alive, huh? You can do it. Well, and it, what it does is it, mm -hmm. so now oh, you can get, get in, in there and inspect it. Inspection light. Yep. Look at that. So, you got any undercut? Better make sure the guy, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, don't have, I don't have my reading glasses <laughs> there on. There you go. So, oh, yeah, the inspector's well, coming yeah, out. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. But like I said, so now you could, you can change your settings. We can go up. Yeah. Let's go up. There we go. Let's try that. Let's make, try make that. More weld. We'll, we'll put one more, more on there. A little more wire. A little more wire. Yep. All righty. Here we go. It's good stuff, Wes. Oh, All yeah. Right. So you did that, and guess what? You didn't have to come back to the machine because you did it right there. <laughs> Saved yourself some time. Look at that. You know. Just boop, boop, boop. Exactly. Turn it up. And we just went up. We went up about 50 mm -hmm. inches a minute on the wire feed speed, and you can see the differences. Yeah, I mean, so. as long as you got the form and the, you know, the right, obviously, understanding of how to control the puddle, yep. you could probably just program that. <clears throat> if you wanted a quarter inch weld, it's almost point and shoot. Exactly. Three, five yep. sixteenths. And you can set yep. up the jobs if you want to and wow. run it that way. This it's is absolutely. Yep. You get four easy, easily and you mm -hmm. can control the jobs from there, but if you want more than that, absolutely. then you can increase, increase to, uh, uh, like I said, a thousand jobs. And Man. name them and all kinds of stuff. No kidding. So you can keep it as simple as you want or you can, you know, in, introduce mm -hmm. more to the process if you want. Man, so, Fronius yeah. has yeah. really stepped it up. The Fortis 500, huh? Fortis 500, 
compact mm -hmm. duo with an external wire feeder. Excellent. So, and you guys have any other events going on during FabTech um, at the booth? Yeah, so we've got, this is actually a lot of new products this year. Uh -huh. um, it, we, we could spend hours here, Joe. So um, <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, we, yeah. we have a lot of new products, so mm -hmm. you know, definitely check out the booth. Uh, see some of the new things that are patent pending and yeah, uh, absolutely it, you know our, our focus is on uh, you know you being from the foundation and the mm -hmm. focus on needing 80,000 new welders we're trying to provide new tools to hey. help welders learn faster and 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 be more successful quicker I'm so telling you, if you're getting if you're getting into this trade some of this new technology is Definitely check Absolutely it out. fantastic. Wes, it's yep. been awesome. Thank you. Thank you Appreciate so much. You. Yep. And of course, yep. if you're at Fabtech 2025, be sure to check out the Fronius booth. They got a lot of great stuff here, and it's going to be a great show. Thank you. Thank you.